981 KZE. Good afternoon. Welcome back. This is Will with you here. My guest this afternoon, Mr. Butch Denner, friend of the station and uh, someone we look forward to seeing around here at KZE. Butch, welcome to the program. Thanks, Will, and thanks, KZE. You guys are always great supporters of everything in the Hudson Valley. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time to come in and talk with us. Uh, you, you've stopped by KZE a number of times for uh, different reasons. There's usually sort of a common thread. Uh, something that you're very passionate about, and that's organ donation, and that's really kind of the focus of what we're going to talk about today. And I do want to mention this. There's a, a few different websites that people can go to to learn more, but a really easy one, DonateLife.net. That's an organization that you work with, and there's a lot of good information there. Absolutely. They do great work in getting the word out and, and educating the public about the, the life-giving miracle of organ donation. Can we start with just a little bit about your background and how this, this is something that you come to very personally. You have a pretty powerful story. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, uh, nine years ago, I was Levon Hellman, the band's road manager, and Levon was working on a film in Hazard, Kentucky with uh, Steven Seagal, and I was getting sicker and sicker, and I just thought it was the food in Kentucky, but... Um, it turns out the night uh, Levon Segal and Harry Dean Stanton were watching the uh, Yankee playoffs on TV, I got very sick, and I went to the uh, Appalachian Healthcare Facility where they misdiagnosed me with leukemia, and uh, I guess uh, Warner Brothers didn't want me to die on the film set, so they airlifted me uh, back to New York at Levon and Stevens' expense, thank God. Yeah. And here in New York uh, at Benedictine, um, Dr. Book saw me and he realized I had hep C and hepatitis and not leukemia um, and got me involved with the Mount Sinai transplant program and for eight years I waited on the list getting sicker and sicker and then uh, in December 2005 I got the call one day Sunday night freezing cold my wife and I got the call and uh, my wife's an angel by the way and um, we went all the way to the George Washington Bridge and they called me and said the liver is no good go home so we cried all the way home, and a week later, almost at an hour, we got the call and um, got to the city about 1 in the morning, 5.30 in the morning. I was under the knife, and 15 and a half hours later, they wheeled me into recovery, and my wife saw that I had color in my face, and the twinkle was back in my eye. Yeah. It, it, this is uh, obviously just a really powerful topic for you, something that you're really passionate about. One of the things that always jumps out at me when we talk is there are all sort of these kind of ideas, I think, there are these misconceptions about organ donation that people have, and that has led to, you just told me about this, and we're going to share this with the listeners now, a shockingly low sort of participation level where we live here in New York State. You know, it's funny. You have the I Love New York campaign, and we have New York Pride, Yankee Pride, Net Pride. New York State is the lowest in the nation in organ donors. We only have 22% of possible people signed up, and the national average is 47%. Yeah. So we're less than half of I mean, people in Mississippi are, are better at signing up than New Yorkers are. It kind of boggles the mind, no offense to Mississippi. Yeah, we were talking, you know, Mississippi is you know, fantastic uh, musical, cultural heritage, but there are some, you know, in terms of obesity stats and literacy and things like that, you know, we think of the area that we live in as being a well-educated, sort of sophisticated area, and this is obviously, this is, this is we're kind of, this is not okay. You'd think that the participation would be, you know, any place, like 90%. There are obviously, there are religious reasons for some people, but, but that's also a misunderstanding uh, because I have pamphlets from all major religions, uh, and I use the word major hesitantly, but all major religions support organ donation. They really do. Even uh, Orthodox uh, Jewish faith, which has very strict uh, uh, burial guidelines, still supports organ donation. So uh, you have to realize um, there are a lot of misunderstandings. When they bury you, you will not be deformed. You can still have an open casket and be as beautiful as you want to be in, in death, I guess. Um, the, the doctors who are in the hospital working on you as you're in your last uh, moments have nothing to do with the organ donation process. It's a totally separate group of people who do it. But, you know, it's so important. In New York State, every 10 minutes, another person is put on the donor meeting list. I mean, people need transplants so badly. It's really something pretty simple that you can do that's going to make a massive difference in the life of someone else and their family and all of their friends. It doesn't, 
uh, how, what does it really take? I mean, to me, it's just that when I got my driver's license, I think all I had to do was check a box. That's all you have to do on the driver's license. That's a DMV. You can go online and do it on the DMV with, uh, a website. Uh, in Ulster County, it's uh, Nina Postupak's uh, county clerk's office. Here in Dutchess County, it's somebody different. But if you realize that one organ donor can save eight lives, um, some donors who, who donate tissue and eyes can save and touch 50 lives. Think of that. If you are passing away and you donate your organs, it's painless. Nobody comes to your door before you're on your way out. Nobody knocks on your door to take your organs. It's, you're already in your last stages. You, you're a donor, whether you do it on your license like Will has done, just check the box, or whether you go online, you can also go online to donatelifeny.org and sign up there. But remember, every person that gets saved, that's like five or six families that have life yeah. back. I mean, you think about children, grandchildren, yeah. aunts, uncles, friends, family, neighbors. It makes an impact on a community. You see, you know, in all our communities, when someone is, is uh, sick and in need of it, whether it's a kidney. And remember, you can donate uh, even while you're still alive if you have that good of a heart to do it. Um, a liver, my friend Harvey Davis, who we lost uh, two years ago, got his uh, liver transplanted by a teacher in the Rondout schools because the liver regenerates. And if you want to donate a piece of your liver to someone who's dying, your liver generates back in six weeks, and it's almost painless. And yeah. there's no cost. Remember, yeah. there's no cost to the donor family whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, again, my guest this afternoon, uh, Bush Denner, a uh, friend of KZE and an activist for the cause of a very simple cause, really, organ donation. You can learn more, donatelife.net, one of the many websites you can check out, an organization that, that Bush works with, donatelife.net. We'll get you more info. Uh, if you think about it, I don't think most of us, there are exceptions, you know, firefighters or police, first responders, most of us are not going to have the opportunity to save a life while we're alive. It's not something that doesn't come along every day that you're put in front of you. This is something really simple that you can do that contributes to saving multiple lives, as, uh, as you point out. I want to ask you about tomorrow night. This is pretty cool. You're going to be uh, at the Ulster County Legislature. You're going to, there's a meeting, and you're going to be given the floor. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, the legislature, Ulster County Legislature, through all the different uh, 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 political chairmen that have gone through, like I said, I'm nine years post-transplant, and for eight years I've been doing organ donor awareness events with the legislature, and they give me the privilege of the floor. Imagine that, me with the privilege of the floor. Yeah. And I bring people with me who are either... Um, members of families that have donated organs, people that have received organs, liver transplant recipients. Tomorrow night, Tuesday at 7 p.m., Charles Lionheart, Woodstock local musician, singer, songwriter, and a, just a great, great cat um, will be with me. He's also nine years post-transplant, liver transplant, and we will hand out organ donor cards. We will tell our stories, and we will try to get people to do something in this world where there's so much trouble. There's so much pain. There's so much sadness with, with the political situation and, and the situations are all around the world and in our communities. They have the opportunity to do something good, to help people. Rick used to do my uh, organ thing in the morning and he used to always say, help people, don't hurt yeah. people. Yeah. Well, this is a great way to help more than one person. Yeah. When Natasha Richardson, rest in peace, died in her skiing accident, when she donated her organs, eight families got life back. I mean, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So uh, please, folks, I mean, there's, there's, there's such a drastic need. There's 120,000 people in America waiting for organ transplants, more than 10,000 people right here in New York. Our neighbors, more than 10,000 of them, are dying waiting for an organ transplant of some kind. So please sign up. New York, uh, donate life, New York, NY dot org, or uh, um, donate life, life dot net. Thank you. Yeah, or DMV. And so sign up. So here's a, a real simple goal. You you you, can, you tend to come by and visit us, uh, you know, once a year, spend a little more. How about a year from now? You know, in April. What, what about, or 20%, 22? 22%, yeah. So again, this is from earlier in the conversation, my guest this afternoon, Bush Denner, we're at 22%. That's the level of participation in organ donation, in, or the number of people that, that are, are registered organ donors. That's correct. Right, yeah. through the DMV or you know, whatever. Yes. Uh, it's the lowest in the country. Yes, New York State is the worst in the country. Can we get it to the national average? Can we get 10%? Can we get to 32%? Yes. 
percent by a year from now. Uh, New York, let's do it. Let's yeah. show some pride. We're at twenty two percent. The national average is forty seven percent. This is a radio station. This is a music station. Think of the music we would not have had in the last few years without organ donation. Phil Lesh celebrating the Grateful Dead's fiftieth year liver transplant. David Crosby, right here in the Hudson Valley. Ha excuse me, right here in the Hudson Valley. Dave Heinlein, guitar player, um, over in Woodstock. He's one year post transplant. Charlie Lionheart. But we also lost people. You know, we lost uh, uh, Richie Haywood from uh, Little Feet. He had to go to Canada to get help because America didn't have the, the organ for him, and he still passed away. So please remember, not only for the music world, but for the entire world, for the community at large. Yeah, those are the people that make the headlines. There's, yeah. there's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't make any headlines. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie Lionheart didn't make any headlines, but yeah. uh, we almost died. Yeah. And now, uh, you know. Well, Bush, uh, Bush Jenner, thank you so much for your passion and your contributions and being a friend of KVE. And uh, good luck tomorrow night with the Ulster County Legislature. We know you're making a, a huge difference. We want to see you again a year from now. Let's get that percentage up. New York State cannot possibly continue to be last in uh, participation in this regard. It's just terrible. Thank you, Will, and thank you, KVE listeners, for supporting everything that you do support. Please help me help other people make a difference sign up. DonateLifeNY.org, DMV, also DonateLife.net. Butch, thank you so much, and uh, we'll, best of luck tomorrow night. Hopefully we'll see you down the road. Thank you. The event is open to the public, 7 p.m., Ulster County uh, Office Building on Fair Street, 6th Floor, County Legislature. God bless. Thank you, WKZE. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Butch. It's 98.1 KZE. Natural Remedies.